Alexa, tell Jesse to shut the f up. What the hell is that? Jazz. I'm so happy to feel like I finally have a better relationship with the camera and YouTube. Welcome everyone to $100,000 Blackjack. I'm your host, McJuggernight. Security cam footage of uh, one of the guys stealing some uh, fish and supplies. Oh, oh my god! What the f is all this? Dude, I'm pissed off. I'm, s I'm seriously pissed off. This is my favorite place in the world. And they f***ed it up. I ran over the pump in the water. We had no water supply for a while. Gotta do things you enjoy, and for some sick reason, this is it. Next time we'll see Jeffrey, he'll probably be getting married. Congrats, brother! <laughs> yeah, dude, everyone's, everyone's getting married. I was nervous coming in here. So I, no I want you to say that I'm sorry for f***ing over my movie. It was 10 years ago. I'm excited to officially announce we're making a movie. <laughs> Come on, hey, what is that? Yeg is actually going back home to California. I'm gonna show you what I got. You have all of these dreams that you succeeded in. I can't go back and try to fix all this. We're making a movie, and I thought it'd be dope if you helped with that. Yeah. You guys really gave me the confidence to think I'm able to do a, do a movie. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually able to say this, but uh, that just wrapped on my first feature film. Year of the Radioactive Butterfly. What a wild, volatile year it's been with ups and downs, a crazy roller coaster ride of life. This might take the cake for coldest end of year video I've ever done. So I'm gonna make it quick. As beautiful as the montage was, let's do a quick recap of some of the highlights of 2023. For the first time in a long time, I actually felt like I developed a better relationship with the camera after many years of burnout and just not feeling like I wanted to do this. I committed to a weekly upload schedule on this second channel, which aside from making the movie, I actually kept to. We've had a lot of fun in these weekly vlogs and have grown the channel to over 75,000 subscribers. We went from helping Yeggs with his subathon, getting rid of a lot of old My Virtual Escape, Devil Inside, and even Psycho Series props. We went to go see what Jeffrey's doing after like not uploading videos to YouTube in a long time. Ashley and I did a lot of stuff around the Ridge House from like restoring the deck to repainting the living room. I even learned how to operate a skid steer and we cleared around like three acres at the Ridge House property. I also, uh, you know, drove over over the, the water main and almost flipped the cat and also got stuck at a certain point and realized I should probably not be doing this and there was that one time I fell backwards and the chainsaw almost fell onto me and probably would have caught, cut me in half. Uh, but yeah, we chopped down a lot of trees. Sega Dad taught us some uh, some things, how to do the wedge method. And yeah, as it stands right now, we also now have the rigid track, which circles the entire perimeter of the property. I cannot wait to be using that come this spring. We got to experience the rigid pool for the first time this year in the summer. Even got to see Jenny swim for the first time. She's a natural. It's so much fun. We had a really awesome little double day trip with uh, Lance Stewart and Julia. That was in Cancun. That was definitely a highlight of the summer. On top of Jeffrey and Georgie got married. Had two what felt like back-to-back -back weddings. One was a bit more traditional and the other ones we were like, you know, hippies back in the 70s like and actually almost exploded by a firework. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> After what feels like seven, eight years of knowing Roman Atwood from YouTube, we finally got to meet up and hang out in person. I also embarrassed myself completely by pr trying to prank him. The prank was successful, but the internet ran with this thing, man. Or I was like bawling my eyes out, depressed. But to be honest, that was great practice for what would be the huge endeavor for this year. And that is, of course, 
the McJugger Nuggets movie, my first directorial debut, my feature film, nicknamed Project Gateway, which I announced, I think it was like in March of this year. I locked myself at the lake house here and wrote the script and got to announce that to my family in the movie theater back at Rigid House. And as gratifying as it was to be like, hey, we're making a movie, and as I, we had to make it after that. You don't just get to say you're gonna do something and then <laughs> celebrate and not do it. <laughs> and oh my god. What's hard is this end of the year video. I want to recap the year properly but because I can't talk about the movie in detail then that means there's like a missing six seven months of before we fully get into the movie, uh, I just wanted to do a shout out to Yeggs. Really had a blast having Yeggs as a fan, known him for so many years, and we're very close friends now. To know that, you know, he came out to the Rigid House to pursue content. We spent pretty much a year together, and we actually had to say goodbye to my son, my adopted child. Uh, he went back to California, and that was another uh, memorable moment from this year. We had a lot of good times eating some sushi and uh, going to Atlantic City for the first time. We, we did pretty well for ourselves. We won a lot of money. Yeggs, Yeggs uh, definitely robbed that place. We also had a lot of blackjack streams on the channel, giving away, I think, over five, six thousand dollars this year in prize money. And this, these are always a lot of fun, and Yeggs was really helpful in boosting the stream quality. We got multiple angles. I got, like, the stream deck, so I'm like a little DJ mixing, you know? Uh, this is a very cool process. Easily one of the worst moments of the year was when this roofing company stole from me and left a thousand screws in the lake house roof. These screws were jutting out into my cathedral ceilings. This was like a $50,000 job. They royally botched it. I had to pretty much stay in my own Airbnb while like 10 workers put another layer of the roof slash ceiling to cover up the screws. And like who steals fishing poles? My man wanted to catch himself some lunch. <laughs> he wanted some spicy tuna or something. I just wanted to take a moment and see what I mentioned last year as in what would be in store for this year. Um, I want to keep my social media addiction in check, keep my sleep good, diet, exercise, all that good stuff and then slowly get content back in the game but I don't want to be grinding my face off doing two a days or dailies I feel like I do know myself better enough now to know that traditional no not doing it however I'm not gonna go out of my way to pursue that stuff whereas years past I'm like yeah the movie I'm making a movie or the Netflix stuff I don't know what was going through my head at the start of this year but I co I did the complete opposite of what I anticipated something switched in my brain and maybe Raka Raka having their successful film talk to me might have like gave me the hope that I needed but also I feel like I'd just been chilling dormant long enough for the big idea to finally hit me and be like this is what I need to do and so for really most of this year it was about this feature film if you look at my energy how I was in last year's end of year video to this one I'm a bit different I would say this year even though there's a lot of other like personal things that happen my aunt Amy passed away at the start of this year which was um it's never easy to uh uh, lose family and loved ones and she was battling cancer for a, a long time and then just recently uh, closing out the year with uh, Poopy John we thought he was we were gonna lose him we were gonna have to say goodbye very grateful that we were able to get him surgery and he survived but there's been a lot of bad things this year too a lot of things went wrong <laughs> during the movie one of what i would say our lead talent uh got into a pretty bad car accident definitely changed the course of the film i got sick four times during the filming it was just a very challenging process uh where i wore so many hats so i definitely had this energy starting off the year but now that we're coming to a close i feel i do feel very tired i do feel very burnt out this process has been relentless and it's been also very hard the fact that I, I haven't been able to share with you guys much. It's definitely by choice, but I really want to surprise everyone. However, despite all of that, I think I can honestly say this year has been the turning point for me personally. And I would attribute that all to finally deciding to take action and doing the movie. Also, one of the biggest turning points of this year was reuniting with, I would almost say, just a colleague, Paul Trout. Going from me burning him, cast as the lead in his indie film 10 years ago, to leaving him out to dry and pursuing YouTube when the Psycho Series was blowing up, 
We barely had any real relationship and I really, I feel like I screwed him over. Yet fate would have it that we'd send some rogue text messages to each other and we filmed the, those, the trilogy of videos on the McJuggernuggets channel and feel like we really squashed the beef and uh, lo and behold, our original DP we had for the movie dropped out and Paul stepped up and absolutely crushed it. I couldn't be more grateful and thankful for having Paul come back into my life because honestly, he has been such a breath of fresh air. We really leaned on each other so much through the filmmaking process. He acted as an assistant director on top of the DP, on top of many hats, and we're here cutting the film together and are getting close to the finish line. We actually have a rough cut of the film complete, which means the, the rest is, I feel like, just refining. And without this dude, none of this would have been possible because he really restored my faith in the whole process and made me really believe that I could do this in addition to all your guys support over the years and with that being said I want to talk about the new year and I'm excited to announce that Paul will be joining Ridges Studios on a more official basis as the official MJN cameraman. Yes, we're bringing that title back. <laughs> and so not only was Paul DPing this film, but I told him if there are to be more feature films after this, he will be the guy. He will be the guy filming YouTube videos. And he also will be the one editing videos as well. A few weeks ago, we did say goodbye to Dom who came up and was super awesome and helping with the production of the film. Uh, but we filmed the vlog, he's, uh, he's actually moved away to Virginia now. And unfortunately, his contract's coming to an end. I know we'll see Dom uh, at the premiere and in future stuff, and it'd be awesome to uh, work together again. However, for as it stands right now, Paul will be the go-to. Which, what does that mean for next year? Or 2024, the year of? The tarantula? I don't know. Usually I do have some symbolic meaning for the years. For this upcoming year, I don't know. I'm just feeling a tarantula. I hope I don't come across one. That would be terrifying. But yeah, this is like the first year I don't have some meaning for it. But maybe it'll come out at some point. Like maybe all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, that's why I call it. I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it. I don't know. I don't know. What does this mean for content? So if you notice, things are changing a little bit. This is the first end of year video that's showing up on the second channel. The second channel is going to be the main place for vlogs, real life stuff, but then also maybe even narrative stuff that I just feel like is not quite good enough to be on the main channel. Because the main point of now the McJuggernaise channel is I'm only doing videos there that are designed to really do well in the algorithm. That doesn't mean I'm like completely selling my soul because I still wanna do videos that I'm passionate about, I have fun with, that I feel like there's some kind of story or emotional impact there. But I wanna make sure that things are progressing. The last few years, I feel like things have been very stagnant. I've been kind of low key depressed. Having Paul around, I'm feeling excited and, and Ashley's motivated and she's been killing it with streams and stuff lately that we wanna see what happens when views return, when the community grows again and everyone excited for what's to come and so really for the first few months of the year it is still gonna be dedicated towards the feature film I'm excited to announce that the movie will be released next year I don't foresee any other reason why that wouldn't be the case and so there's gonna be a big premiere a big release we'll see what happens with whether we get into Tribeca or not or Cannes Film Festival I'll update you guys as that happens make sure you follow me on all socials but that will really dictate a lot will we make another feature film after that I don't know I think it could be cool. And then beyond that, we want to come back to YouTube and content uh, in a more serious way. Paul and I have learned a tremendous amount from this film experience, and we want to bring that over to YouTube. And I know it sounds like all talk because you guys haven't seen anything yet, but I think once you guys see what we've been working on for the last, say, nine months, everyone will be pretty shocked. And I think we'll be rest assured that once we have more time on our hands that we can then dedicate to YouTube content, I think we can really really kind of change how things operate on the platform. We also want to potentially get more merch related items. The poster sold tremendously. You guys showed a lot of support for what was, I think, a really cool design. And I think it'd be dope to get just better quality stuff that as it relates to content coming out on the McJarian's channel. Paul and I have a million ideas. We're talking about series. We're talking about
talking about mini series, we're talking about one off bigger videos, we're talking about TikTok short form content, all kinds of things that not only will grow but will also be fun as heck to film and watch. I want to film more videos with my family, whether it's Larry's Lounge or my parents or even maybe even getting Jeffrey back in videos. And I want to involve more of you guys. We actually filmed with a lot of you guys during the movie process and it was a blast. Potentially do some more blackjack streams and maybe even rolling out some new features for as far as memberships go and live streams. I would also like to travel a bit more this year as much as I can without, I ain't trying to get sick. But. And on the topic of sick, uh, health again is gonna be a major priority this year. I realized after getting sick so many times during the movie that like the quality suffered a bit those days. On top of I blacked out, I hit my head. Like I can't do this. <laughs> I can't operate like that. As much as I wanna feel like I'm in my early 20s again, doing like two videos a day. And I see all these like creators coming up and they're killing it and then I'm like, ugh. I miss the grind, I miss doing that. But then I actually try to get back into it and I'm just like, I'm just get, I get tired quicker, I'm slower. I gotta like take more breaths. And I swear man, it's like getting COVID twice now that like we don't fully know the long-term effects of it. It just makes you think, you know? So as much as I'm like bullheaded and wanna get back to it and wanna promise these grand things, I also just wanna temper expectations a bit, which I've done in prior years. Because to be honest, I really don't know what the future holds. You never know when there's it's gonna be like a health scare or a family thing or who knows something on like a macro level that affects everybody and so if my health is not in check then I can't really give you guys anything. That definitely is the priority moving forward. Be very diligent making sure I'm good so that way I can get back to doing what I love and making you guys some awesome stuff. And with that guys, uh, cheers. I'm looking forward to the year of the tarantula 2024. I couldn't be more excited for you to finally watch all the hard work that we put into this film. I hope that you'll appear at whatever premiere we do have and just know that this has been the most emotional journey for me. It, during this process. I can't wait to maybe share behind the scenes and more things that took place. Potentially be a year where McJuggernauts is really back on the map and people can see what you guys have seen in me over all these years. A talented storyteller and the emotional, compelling narratives and we can all kind of be proud together and maybe in return uh, it could inspire, inspire you guys to maybe pursue that crazy ambitious thing that you're afraid to tackle because that's why it's the turning point year for me. 2023, I will miss you. And the most important thing is that I feel like I've restored so much trust and confidence in myself again, despite all the costs and risks associated. And no matter what success the movie reaches or failure in 2024, I, I freaking did it. Wouldn't be here without you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, drop some likes on the video guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in 2024. Let's try to make it special. Keep it frigid, y'all.